We are going to get goats, I guess. So, here we are driving out into the middle of nowhere, literally. We're going to go get goats today. That's our adventure. We are driving into the middle of we don't know what. Through a path, through a piece of ground that is very odd. We came into this through a concrete factory and a gravel pit. And now we're driving out to a big grassy piece of land that I believe has been strip mined according to the owner. As you can see, this is like going on safari. It's like a long hike out into the middle of I don't know what. But now we're coming to some fenced area, which I assume is where the goats are. <laughs> Look, at there they come. Oh, and there they come. <laughs> I'm Amber uh, from Horniac Ranch, and we're the crazy goat people. <laughs> so we're here to look at some goats. <clears throat> oh, and they're very pretty goats. It felt like we were driving out here for like a mob hit or something. I know. I know. Wasn't that wild? I kept thinking, like, if, if I was by myself, I, here, there's no way I would, like, follow somebody down in here. Yeah, really. You need any help or? Oh, they are cute. Tiny ones, like dogs. I said they were Tristan's size goats. I'll just Tiny ones look like dogs. And I think the 13-year-old um, May and the little Hey, that you one is not going to compete. He's coming near you. Oh, he ran away. Do you have a like a herd dam, or, or do you move them around enough that they don't develop a, a real? We always had like a lead dam in our herd, you know. Some that was in charge. Yeah. Um, some of the goats that are down at the other field are kind of like our lead does. Yeah. And that's what I wonder when you're moving around like this, you might. If, when we stick like if we were to stick these does back in with them, they'll whoop the heck out. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Because Ryan wants me to put these ones back with some other does, so they're all in the same field. And then I can let them kids go into that pen and eat grain. Right. Because right now they're like all sharing. And um, I'll have to pull my buck out because there's some in here I don't want him to breed. Because they're his daughters. So how many do you have total right now? We're down to 30 including the babies. And are you are you selling out or are you just... We're going to try maybe just... He, he, does, he wants me to get rid of the goats. And yeah. I can't. They're like my kids. Yeah. So it's like I have a hard time parting with them. And I sold her whole herd last fall. I didn't sleep for three days. I had a really awesome buck out of Texas. And, uh, but I've had some health issues for the last year. And, I, you know, I have good days and I have bad days. And it's hard when I'm doing it myself. And, it is hard work, I'll tell you that. We were talking about that because I just got a new job. And 
I'm going to be gone. I'll actually be home more once I get settled in. But starting out the job, i got to go for training and stuff. And I said, you realize, honey, I'm going to be away. You're going to be... And she had to do this before. We had goats going, and I got a job where I was traveling all the time. That was why we had to get out of them before. Because yeah. it was just like and we didn't even have a big herd. But they're... What do you think about these little Tristan's guys? He, he, he's a concrete. Like, you like them? I don't, he knows when he comes home, you yeah. know? So it's like, in order to help help me turn the into keep shop, crowding that way. I need him to help me. You're going to make angry and, mamas, um, and angry mamas are bad. I work at the plant in the offices. I run my full business on my own. I sell uh, saddles and horse pack online. Oh, yeah. So I have an eBay store. So I sell tack full time. We pass our farm head the green room. Yeah. We wonder if that was your yeah. so goes down there. So I, have all, I have them horses. Um, I used yeah. to travel and compete, and I have no time to even... Yeah. So I tell take me, care of everything. Tell me again the sexes of these sisters' twins. Come on, girls. Come on, olive oil. Yeah. No, no! Oh, my God. Ma! 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 Sure this Here, boys. I'll go in and help. Getting them to like you. Spunky one. Once you go out and start feeding, they'll climb all over you. So used to the babies being like puppies, they were because we fed them on the back porch and we had them. They were little. We the bottle, bottle fed them, and then yeah, they were always real, real right pain. there. I had a couple of them trained to heal like the dog did. I have a hard time when we have to tell the bottle babies to come so and they're all day. I used to take our Adirondack chairs at night when I took my ticket out to the field and just sit with them and let them. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> there we go. Loaded in the truck. I almost said trailer. That was funny. Truck. We gotta go pick up one more at the other place. Easy, easy. Here, let me get the. Come here, little buddy. Oh, you got it right. She tried to get up. Sixty. Can you count 80. that high? I can't even count that high. Oh wait, we'll start from this and it's easier. One, two, three, four, five. 20, 40, 60. I printed those this morning now. <laughs> Stop at 6. <laughs> uh, 20, 40, 80. This probably isn't a bad exercise. Hey, we need to make sure it's all here. Another. Yeah, we counted the Seven, 5 I brought. 20, 40, 60, no. We're gonna go. 80, We're gonna go soon. 8. How much is supposed to be here? 1,000. 40, 60, 80, 9. These ones are really stuck together. They really are. They came need out of the ATM. Okay, here we are. We're kind of in the dark, uh, except for right here. We are standing in our kind of newish barn, getting ready to unload our animals. Yeah, we did get a latch. No, we didn't. We're going to use a bungee cord. So this is for? Yep. Okay. Ashlyn, where are you at? She's right there. Your, your mama goat's name is Lucky. I knew, I knew something like Lovey or something. Her name is Lucky, and she might have babies. I'm going to name my baby Lucky. Pretty sure she's going to have babies. Mommy, Daddy said she's pregnant. Yeah. I'm going to name my okay. baby one Lucky. Let's see what's coming here. 
Is it anyone coming? Here comes one of our babies. Hi, baby. Welcome to our farm. Go find your mama. There's some babies. And some mama. Let me see that. Mommy, I am down. Do you want to come see them? Very dark. Can you pet the babies? Probably tomorrow. Yay. Here, goody, go, go. Yeah, that's baby. A baby goat? Okay, I'm going up to kid this fork and unload the back of my throat. Hi, baby. Lucky. Here, girl. Here. 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 That one, that blondie one, that white blondie one back there is ours. Scoop that one up, Liz. There's the goat. So what kind are the kinds of flumpy ears? Um, they're, they're boomer, Nubian cross. But I think the boomers have floppy ears too. Yeah. Oh, them babies is so cute. All right, they they say. Mom. Goats or milk goats or. Yeah, when you take them away. You're okay. Oh. See. <laughs> Told you they say, Mom. Here's Goldie Goldie. Isn't nice. They have floppy ears. How are you? See, I like your ears. Over here. Bring him over here. These things are not well socialized. No, they weren't. They weren't bottle fed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't hurt. Oh. She doesn't hurt. <laughs>